Okay, guys, after this last um, few months of these physical changes that I've been working with, like I said, the um, energy waves on the planet, and I was talking about those energy lines, those grid lines, and what happens is those waves that are, it's actually energy waves, all of its energy waves, everything that you experience, your eardrums, they translate waves into hearing, eyes, same thing. Everything is waves that's translated via some way into something that you can understand. Okay, same thing is true with the energy around and on the planet. So what happens is these energy waves will cross. And where they cross the most or the strongest, people have been able to pick up and translate that into a line. It's not really a line. It's a place that these energy waves frequently cross each other and so it appears or is seemed like a line. Well, those lines that... I got a message there. Excuse me. <laughs> those lines are now opening up to these waves and those waves are what um, I've been dealing with or we've been dealing with and those waves are also there on your body so there's been a lot of physical changes some people have dealt with that well some not so well I'm not very good at, at uh, body things because I'm not a big physical person so it's been a little bit more challenging for me but now that this is over now what I'm seeing is an well, as you guys know, I don't use the physical body much, like I just said. So, any time that I translate things with the five senses, I'm always amazed. Now, I can see, feel, know, whatever it is you want to call all the vibrations on the planet, and I translate them differently through other uh, ways, other senses that I remember since I died and other people don't. And these are much clearer and more precise and more complete than the five senses are. So I tend to not use the five senses as much as I probably should to keep kind of an eye on my body. But since this physical changes have happened in the raising of the vibrations and the changing of the energy grid lines into opening up and becoming more complete waves... Uh, I have been able to see through the my vision all of the five senses have improved tremendously tremendously now I don't know if y'all have ever done this before any of this happened a long time ago but have you ever stared at like something uh, just anything just stared at anything and you could see it kind of move a little bit I've always been able to do that. I've always seen everything had a little bit of movement if you just relaxed and watched it a little bit. Well, now that movement is really a lot more noticeable. And on top of that, you know how if you look at a, like a piece of fabric, you know that that fabric, like I've said before, is made out of thread and the thread is made out of little tinier threads and such and so forth, down and down and down. But whenever you just look at like a shirt, all you three, all you see is the fabric. Well, I can easily, quickly now see the fabric and the thread, and it's more three-dimensional. There's depth to it now. Uh, I can still see a lot of movement, and probably much more than most people can, but I think that regular people, if they would stop and notice it, would see that three-dimensional effect of not a flat piece of fabric anymore, but rather the different layers of it. Anyway, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it very, very clearly. Also, uh, like I said in one of the other videos, I'm seeing magical creatures are much, they're showing up much more blatantly now. They're not so much translucent or transparent. They are uh, uh, much more physical. Uh, now I can see them much clearer through my human eyes. Um, and there's a lot more of them. Also, uh, aliens. 
from the fourth dimension, uh, 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 especially, excuse me, especially the aliens that I would consider more not really gecko or pigeon, although they all in the fourth dimension lean one way or the other, but they're not extremists. They're more like people visiting a zoo or a show and there's more of them and they seem to be less stressed about uh, coming and interacting with people which means that there are groups of humans on the planet that are vibrating high enough and are stable enough in that um, ability to, to vibrate at a certain level that certain alien groups feel safer coming and interacting with them so the good news is that there is a possibility of interacting with uh, fourth dimensional aliens if that's what you'd like to do and there's one more thing that I want to talk to you guys about and you guys know that I I saw the prisms I don't know if there are other uh, new age people or people that see auras or stuff the same people that saw the indigo people the indigo kids and I think they called the crystal kids too um, although I do know both of these groups of kids who are now adults of course but I called the next group the prisms because of their um, iridescent uh, yet prismed look that's what they look like to me and I really thought that that group was going to be the group that would take us to fifth dimension but that uh, they are definitely the stabilizing and the changing group but there's another group that I have seen since then and they are babies right now I've only seen them as uh, very small babies like a year or two younger and younger and they I do not know what to call these guys uh, but what they look like is they look like layer upon layer of moving uh, waving water um, that you can see through but barely and it's uh, there's a lot of movement and a lot of layers and a lot of energy now with the prisms the prism kids they pretty much come in with um, very little amnesia and they're going to do things the way that they're going to do things and you cannot stop them and it looks like they're kind of barreling through in spite of what the belief systems have been in place on the planet with humans before now like I said that they're this they're the fail-safe that they pretty much say no you've got it wrong this is the way you do it right and I'm gonna do it this way I'm not gonna to listen to you so the belief systems that were put in place to make sure that the gods were in amnesia just will not work with the prisms and that's them and then after them it looks like these guys this new babies whereas prisms really don't have a whole lot of sympathy or empathy about hearing about humans and their problems because a prism understands that any human that has a problem it's an issue that they created it's a creation of their own so they're not going to listen to it a lot or feed that that issue that problem uh, it looks like this new group that I do not know a name for yet um, they seem to be more they accept and allow more for anyone there's no judgment there's an acceptance and an inclusiveness of all energies and although their energy is is much more layered and much stronger than anything else on the planet the energy itself paired back some is very much like all of the energy on the rest of Gaia when it's as it runs through life in the now with the flow of, of of all things on the planet everything flows together smoothly concisely in a very very orderly and very natural way 
Um, it looks like these new babies are kind of taking the energy of humanity and merging it, transmuting it um, from the prisms energy. And the prisms are taking all of the different energies that humans create and bringing it all into a more uh, creationary or controlled way uh, back to a God state. And then these new babies are taking that energy and merging it into the rest of Gaia's energy, which is very clear and um, they're simple waves, gigantic simple waves over simple waves of energy and the energy and the look of it is very clear, wave upon wave, interacting with each wave in a very gentle way. And it looks like these new babies are taking it from the prism um, transition into transitioning the prism energy into Gaian energy. Um, and I really don't know. It, they are powerful. I'm almost thinking maybe the surgers because the energy is, they're surging. Uh, it's a surge of energy where they're, they're taking this energy and in powerful surges of energy, they're transforming it back into Gaian energy. Anyway, if y'all have any ideas about what to call this uh, new group, uh, they look to me like the, the prisms are gone. The That angle, the diamond facets um, of energy that I've seen around humans up to this point, that is gone. And these guys are uh, waves, soft waves, but there's a lot of them. And it's wave upon wave upon wave that runs really deep, really deep on top of each other. So the waves are coming like, they're coming in and they're coming in on top of each other, into each other going all different directions. And it's almost clear to translucent uh, to see through them. You can, you can see through them, but it's not completely clear. It's uh, more uh, clear to translucency. Uh, but the energy is complex and it is massive, but it is very, very close. It's, it's a more powerful, busy, complex form of the energy that is what I would call Gaian energy, that is the natural energy of all of nature on this planet and the planet itself okay so uh, well tell me what you think all right give me your thoughts okay that's it huge hugs I love you so much and I'll see you later bye now